Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Mac Minute. This week we're going to talk about the bar at the bottom, right down here, which you can't really see because I'm sitting in front of, which we're going to fix that in this video. So this bar at the bottom is very flexible in what it can do, and it can be have all kinds of features turned on to help to tell you what is really going on with the other programs. And I'm going to show you some of that. It's one of the things that most people don't really deal with very much because they don't ever go and look at it, but there's some really cool things you can do with it. And actually, because of the problem of me standing on this side of the computer all the time, or this side of the computer to you all the time, I'm actually going to move the bar up here, so I'm going to start doing some things with this a little more, and I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing we got to do is we're going to go up here to uh, System Preferences, and we're going to go to the Dock. So here's the Dock option. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the right so you can see what I'm doing. So there you see the dock move. Let me uh, kind of move my hard drive out of the way up here. And here's the dock. So the other thing, especially if you are having issues with, if you wear glasses a lot and you, you don't always have them on, you can turn on magnification. I like, like just the effect of it, but you turn on magnification and when you get over here, you see it blows it up and you can see what it is better. So if you're having any kind of eyesight issues, this is helpful. Uh, especially if you've got family members that are using it that are a little bit harder seeing than, than you are even. Now, the other thing I'm going to turn on is double click window to minimize. So it's just another quick way of hiding a program. And when you, minim when you minimize them or use the yellow button um, on the window, I, this one right here, same as this one right here, I'm going to bring it to the bar down here and I'll show you why in a second. And we also want to show indicators if they're running. So we're going to do that. And you'll notice right away that the indicator comes up right here next to System Preferences because I'm in System Preferences. And let's say I open up Safari. And you'll now see a little indicator next to Safari saying it's still running. So last week when I told you about things that are still running, if I close out of this window, it's still running. You can tell right there very visually that program's still running even though I didn't quit out of it. Now I'm actually going to uh, bring that back up because here's another th thing I just turned on. Is if I hit the yellow button, which is up here, come behind my head, you see it goes into this icon. So rather than having icons and icons adding to the end of the list, if you want to get back into Safari, you need to click on Safari and there's your window. So unlike Windows, where it minimizes each thing as individual, you can put it under the application that's on the dock and it stops adding new icons at the bottom. So it just helps clean up your dock a little bit. That was pretty much it for this week. I also wanted to do a very quick dock and uh, I'm assuming by now you figured out how to add things to your dock, but that's something that's coming up in I believe a week or two. We're going to talk about adding new applications to your dock and how you can delete applications from your dock as well. So if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. And if you are watching us on a podcasting, be sure you subscribe. We have media for all, all things, phones, tablets, even your computer and your home TV screen, like you're running on Roku or something like that. We can even watch us right there on your, on your big screen right there in the living room or as you're going to bed at night, you know, click us on and uh, fall asleep to us. So it's, that's great. Come visit us at our show page. You get our contact information. Leave us a message on Google Voice. Come and join the community at Google Plus as well. Come talk with us. We love hearing from you. Uh, it's definitely keeps us motivated to keep on going. Thanks a lot. Have a great week and keep learning that Mac.